here. So I want to tell you a story, but I also want to preface this with the fact that in life, we keep on talking about taking action, right? You got to take action. You got to move forward. You got to honor yourself. You got to um, get things done. Yet I'm learning that people still struggle with this. So of course, I put on my little scientist hat, my reporter hat, I get excited and I go, okay, crack the code, crack the code rock. How do we get people to take more action? How do we get people to be congruent and in harmony with their deepest desires? And yet every time it seems that people wanna step into their own power and take action, there's this conflict. Have you ever felt that? Like there's this conflict. You're saying, yes, I wanna do this, but oh, or you know, I wanna work out, but mm, or I wanna go and ask this question, oh, and even maybe here on the Rise with Rocky, like I wanna ask this question, but oh, what if it's the wrong question? What if it looks silly? What if, uh, there's this conflict. Would you agree with me that there's often this conflict within yourself when you choose something that you want? Should I go to an event? Oh, I should, I want, what can I afford? Oh, I, don't want, I wanna take some time off, oh, I should be working, right? This should comes in all the time and this, this protection device. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why one of the reasons is, one of the big reasons is, and how you can turn that around all on your own and with your pod and with your community and with your family. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is freaking huge. This is going to change your life. Are you ready? Are you excited? Come on, give me some energy here. Give me some freaking energy. Boo, 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 boo. Hearts, likes, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna preface it with a story. So yesterday I'm at the pharmacy going to pick up a couple of odds and ends for the house. And I'm standing in line at um, whatever, Walgreens, whatever it was. And there's probably 10 of us in line. And right behind me is this mother with a big, these big carriages where kids can sit in the carriage, right? And there's probably, I'm gonna say maybe a three and a five year old approximately. And the three year olds, mom, mom, mommy, I wanna get out. No. Mommy, I wanna get out. No. Mommy, I wanna get out. No. Over and over and over again. Mommy, I'm hungry. You're gonna eat later. I got you some junk food that she points to, a bag of chips and sour cream or something. You're gonna eat that. She goes, I don't want that. She goes, you liked it yesterday. You're gonna eat it. I don't want that. I stood there for no more than two minutes and I swear I heard this mother thwart the desires of this child at least 20 times, at least. Think about that. There was a study done years ago I wrote in my first book is that by the time you're 14 years old, you've heard the word no over 100,000 times. I think that number is going up and I'm gonna tell you why. Today, there are more distractions, more things that are dangerous. You can't do this, you can't do that, you can't yell, you can't run, you can't. We, are, we have been put into the, its box. And imagine as a child, for you, as you grow up, you are constantly told, sit down, be quiet. No, not now, you're not allowed. So now as you grow up as, a, as an adult, how many of you think that when you have a desire, when you have a, a, a feeling inside that you wanna buy a property, you want to start a new job, you want to kiss the person that you're with, you want to do something, that little voice inside of you has been freaking trained to not trust itself. Think about that. You have been trained hundreds of thousands of times in your lifetime, trained hundreds of thousands of times to try to avoid the pain of being told, no, not now. So before, once you have a desire, a wish, a thought, the next thing you do is you go, but what if somebody says no? What if the world disagrees with me? What if the world tells me, not now, sit down, be quiet? You go to build your business and you're thinking, well, I'm gonna knock on that door, make that phone call, but that person is going to tell me no. So you think of everything else. You go, well, I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea or I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that. You make up a story for yourself. It was why is now is not the right time to reach out or contact them. You tell yourself that you know being in a relationship because you've been hurt several times in that relationship is just not worth it or you prefer dogs or you're too busy right now focusing on your career. Meanwhile, all you're doing is protecting yourself from the inevitable no that's around the frickin' corner waiting to bounce on you. Yes or yes. So my belief is this. 
is it is your duty and job and dharma for you to deposit no yeses into your life. For you to be in an ecosystem, in an environment. And this is why I say in our environment, we need to support and encourage each other, people. We need to be saying yes to each other. We need to be encouraging people. We need to be acknowledging people, ourselves. Wake up in the morning and say, yes, 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 I love you. You know, I remember when my <clears throat> I was on the phone doing a sales call, my kids were probably around 10, 8, and 7, 6. They were running around the house screaming and yelling, make a whole bunch of noise. And I'm on the phone. And the first instinct was me was to put the phone, you know, cover the phone and go, kids, shut up, not now. But I remember training myself that the last thing I wanted to do is to teach my children the power of the word no. So I remember saying, one moment, please. And I said, hey, kids, that screaming is awesome. That's amazing. You guys are so loud. Could you take that outside? Well, daddy's on the phone and I'll come out and join you afterwards. And they're like, okay. And they ran outside. I kept them in flow. I kept them in yes. I kept them honoring their desires. The freedom of being a human spirit. So for me, I'm challenging you for the next seven days until we meet again on the Rise with Rock next week is raise your level of consciousness around that little voice inside of you that is protecting you from the inevitable, what you think is an inevitable no. Drive through it. Have fun with it, right? When you go through security and they say, you know, no, uh, you can't keep your shoes on, I, I respond by going, yes, I get to take my shoes off, woohoo! Right? And people look at me like I'm crazy. Maybe I am crazy. But I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm saying yes to me. I'm saying yes to me. As much as I possibly can. Say yes to yourself as much as you possibly can. Honor that little voice inside of you that wants to play. That wants to ask questions. That wants to grow. That wants to be in the best possible shape of your life. That wants to be the best lover. That wants to be alive. That wants to move to freaking LA. I decided to move to LA about... I mean, I, I, I noticed I had it on my five-year vision. I was reviewing my one sheet yesterday. And I'm like, okay, it was there. It's been there. But I didn't really say yes to myself until I came to visit my daughter here about a month ago. And I said, okay, this is going to happen. And I just kept on saying yes, saying yes, saying yes. And then I came out here and I just said yes. Right? Mike McCarthy, hey, buddy. Lindsay Sprani, as parents, we have to say no. We can also start saying yes more. It's like your response to losing a dice during Liar's Dice. I think about it all the time and use that. Thank you, Aaron. So we were playing this game and I lost. And instead of going, ooh, I'm like, yeah, right? I'm training myself to say yes. I'm training myself to be around people that say yes. Hey, Mike, what's up, buddy? Um... I'm training myself, Mike McCarthy, CEO of GoBundance in the house here in this community. This is a guy that you should, you should ask questions. This is a guy who's built a multi, multi, multi-million dollar business in, in real estate, who's become a powerhouse um, speaker and facilitator, who's passionately curious and has said yes to so many things in the five years I've known him that I've absolutely been flabbergasted and inspired and motivated to, to grow even more myself. He's the epitome of saying yes to things and the results are just exponentially amazing. So I'm challenging you all to start saying yes to each other, encourage each other, live in harmony, Grow from each other. Celebrate each other. When you celebrate another person, you're celebrating the yes to them. As a parent, play with your children and be, be, be encouraging for them to be creative and to honor who they are and what they feel. I'm hungry. No, you're not. You can't eat now. What? Right? Say yes to them and then redirect it. Course correct but be in love, be in harmony, be in enthusiasm, be in life, be in growth, be in health. Say yes to fucking as many things as you can for your spirit so you don't squash your spirit. One of the reasons I am where I am and I have what I have is because I have trained myself. You all know this. Say yes, figure it out later. Fuck the no. 
No is, is, is downer. No is negative. No slows you down. No kills your spirit. What I want to do in this tribe is take this tribe and exponentially grow it to the world by saying yes to the little things and then being able to say yes to the big things and grow this massive harmony within yourself that is full of congruency and growth and inspiration and connection and love and possibility. And if we develop that muscle together as a group, imagine the power that we can have going forward. And I'm telling you one thing, when you are in, think about it, when you're with a group of people that, like we are in Mexico, we go in these events, then, you know, people are, are in harmony and they're, they're not, they're, they're, they're open to your ideas and we start talking about something and you're like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Have you thought about this and what about that? You feel open, yes? You feel more like you could talk about the things that you don't normally talk about, yes? You feel like there's a possibility that people get you, that people understand you, yes? And then you all of a sudden feel more alive and more free and more happy, yes? Because people are saying yes to your spirit, to your soul, to your ideas, to your energy, and therefore you, you percolate more of it. It grows, and then all of a sudden you take on little challenges and you squash them and they're easy. And then you can have the courage and desire to take on bigger challenges. So how important is it for you to change your programming, Brad, more? It's massively important. It's massively important. Tatiana, yes, yes, yes. As a group of people, we need to start saying yes to ourselves. Your brain is gonna go to no to protect you because it's been beat down like a freaking dog. Beat down for years. Sometimes by the very people that you look up to and you love. No, not now, quiet. No, no, no. I want this, no, I want this, no, I want this, no. No fucking shit after a while. You're discouraged, but you've got to have a level of defiance. Defy the no of the world. It's out there all the time. It'll continue to be out there. Start saying yes to yourself. Wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, and yes, you're a badass. Saying yes to and during Cabo changed my life is really powerful. Have to, I have to find the energy here on my own by implementing your energy to everything. Thank you, Erin. Erin is a VIP in M1. She said yes. Yeah. She jumped in the deep end. God bless her. So positive, so abundant. Bryce, should I hit the snooze button? No. <laughs> Say yes. I love your sense of humor, Bryce. Say yes to getting up the moment your eyes open. Say yes to making a cup of tea for the person beside you. Say yes to doing the small things and the big things are going to get here. I promise you, your momentum's going to kick in. All right, now, if you have any questions, go ahead and pop them up here. Here's your, your chance. I've done my Rise with Rock. I've done my piece. I've told you how I feel about, about the science behind saying yes, right? There's a science. There's a, there's a programming that happens, and it's up to you now. You have the ability to program yourself to take massive fucking action. Or you can let the world decide that you're going to be beat down and held back. Drew Lee, how many kids grow up in, up is so important. Thank you for encouraging us to say yes to our kids. Yes, say yes to your kids. Be playful. Redirect them. You can always say later no. So LA is so different from Montreal. What made you want to move here? Oh my God, Alan. It's the weather. I, I work out twice a day here outside, not in a gym. I, um, I, I look over the ocean. <laughs> my, part, my apartment here looks over the ocean. I sit and work and look at the, at the, at the water. Um, I go for walks outside. I, I, the food, the access to the food here, the fresh food is great. The people... The tribe is much more of a say yes tribe. So that, those are a bunch of reasons. The, the temperature, I'm not, I'm not hiding from, from the cold. I'm jumping into the warm. So there's a million reasons. But the, one of the biggest reasons would be the nutritional level and as well the types of people here. The people are open. They want to live a full life. They're going for their dreams. 
I lived in Panama for 10 years. I definitely get it. Wow. Panama, um, GoBundance Couples trip is in Panama this year. That, um, that looks fantastic. Have you all seen the new movie, Yes Man with Jim Carrey? Yes is the new no. Exactly. Bill Burning, amazing to see you here. Yes, Bill, say yes to being in the tribe and connected. We love you, brother. We want to push you. We want to support you. We want to encourage and love you. I need to say yes to pulling the trigger on properties they found to rent for Airbnb. I'm scared, but I, I must say yes. S sometimes a big, sometimes a big intimidating yes is simply the accumulation of small yeses. Absolutely, Bryce. And by the way, people always ask me this. It's much easier to say no than yes. Yes comes from consequence. Yes, that's true, Roman. And guess what? Course correct, course correct, course correct. So I say to people, I make tons of mistakes. I'm just willing to make those mistakes. Holy smokes, 68 people on the rise with rock. I think it's a record. Um, yes has come with consequences and that's why so many people sit there saying no. Meanwhile, as they say, an entrepreneur <clears throat> is taking action and course correcting while everybody else is sitting there trying to get it perfect. Say yes, make a mistake, course correct. I rented this apartment here. The, it was the very first apartment I saw. Bam, rented it. Then I walk down the street and I see there's 10 others all along the street. And I'm like, well, maybe there's some better ones. Yeah, maybe there are. But you know what? I'm in here and I love it. So, you know, you can analyze and, and, and scrutinize yourself to death and take no action. Or you can just get in the game and go. Get in the game and go. Course correct. The saving grace, safety net to yes. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, and maybe you get a place, an Airbnb place, and it's the wrong place, and it's a challenge, but you'll learn and you'll grow. But you're in the game, you're taking action. Of course, take the best action. Look, look, be prepared yourself as much as possible. Be intelligent. Check with your tribe, your pod, with your mentor, and then pull the trigger. Paralysis by analysis, 100%. Complexity is the enemy of execution. Look at how smart you guys are. You guys are like freaking amazing. I love you. A lot of people say no and then figure it out later. Poor them. <laughs> yeah, they figure it out long later, long later. I live in Win Winterpeg. I get to say yes to living in warm weather. I will next year. <laughs> so I think we all agree that the beauty of saying yes is not just as, as um, superficial as, as yes. It really goes deep. It goes deep into your core, the little child inside of you that wants to be acknowledged and wants to be safe and wants to be welcomed and wants to get it right and wants to be enough. Here's what I think is you got a holy smoke 69. You guys are awesome. I love your energy. Thank you so much for being here and supporting each other and taking the time out to listen to this short message. It's like Chris says, saying yes to yourself, saying yes to the little voice inside of you and building up a, a making the deposits of yes versus all the hundreds of thousands of no, starting to align with your desires and being able to go, yes, I want this. Yes, I feel like that and getting to know yourself better. And in that process, you're going to start to feel, I think, more momentum and you're going to be feeling more uh, connected with what you truly want because you're going to be listening. I said yes to a 1031 this weekend. Intimidating, but I'm figuring it out. Boom! Bryce is hot in the house this morning. What better message first thing in the morning than big call to yesness. I love the yesness. I love the ness. The ness is just my way of adding yeses to things. Say yes and figure it out later and learn, says Ed. Say yes to the things that serve you. Yes, and say yes to things that, that are dear to your heart that you maybe haven't said yes to for a while. Does that make sense? Bryce Stewart's coming to Philly this week. Say yes to coming to Philly this week. Who's coming to Montreal, by the way? Montreal is our next big event. There's... Um, there is one life fully lived in Philadelphia in May this week that if you're in that area or you want to go to something that's inexpensive, it's a few hundred dollars. Um, it's put on by uh, my buddy Mike McCarthy and Tim Road. It's our charity event. 
and you get a chance to really meet some very cool people. I highly recommend it. Um, you can go to um, onelifefullylived.com and register there. Um, and we have our Montreal event coming up in September, at the end of September. It's, it's one of our most accessible uh, events. It's, you know, Mexico is like 3,000. You got you know, fly there and all that. It's a little bit more expensive. And um, we also have the Montreal event, which is only like $18.95, all inclusive Thursday to Sunday. There's events. We're going to be um, playing paintball, um, racing cars. It'll be a little bit extra for those of you that want to race cars. Um, all staying in this beautiful resort together up in the mountains, the fall foliage, and it's of course life changing. So I would encourage you to come to that. Europe has been um, scheduled for next year, not this year. So by the way, notice how I don't say Europe has been canceled. Europe is, no, it's been rescheduled. It's a, it's a form of yes. It's a form of shift, right? So try to, try to, um, language things in a way that it doesn't sound yeah, well, we canceled it. Uh, uh. well it was me no it's just it's just scheduled for next year even in building relationships I've heard aim to have five positive to one negative interactions like in work and personal relationships hundred percent Rebecca and it's, and it's really all of us my you know all of us myself definitely included I can be very challenging and a little bit direct as a high D and learn to say you know, more supportive, encouraging statements before directing and correcting or challenging. So, um, Matthew, I'm in, I guess, uh, Montreal, Edna, Montreal, Aaron, Montreal, Roman, Montreal, Donna Cook, yes, wow, Robert, Montreal, boom, Montreal, here we come, Chris, are you coming to Montreal, Chris, that's awesome, Wendy, yes, Jackie Steiner, yes, oh my God, Chun Chun, I will be there, yes, Linda, yes, whoa, Whoa, yes to Montreal and Philly Roman, cool. If you want to, to link for $100 off, let me know. If you want to link for $100 off, let me know. Brad Anderson, not sure what that means, but it sounds cool. Volunteering One Life in Philly, Chun Chun, very cool. You're gonna love it. Said yes to Montreal and booked it this week for me and Jackie, now figuring it out. Bam, way to go, Edward. Melissa, racing cars, yes, racing cars, yes. I'm getting a note here from our COO while I'm telling you this, that um, there are 15 or 20 spots left in Montreal. So if you're on the fence and thinking about it, um, then take some action and say yes. Get yourself registered. Uh, what's the cost right now? Is it $18.95, Alex? Um, the child inside of us wants a yes and guidance. Chris, you're so cute. Montreal, M1 in September, I signed up on Saturday. Ready to crush it, says Darren. Boom, boom, can't wait to see you, Darren. Philip Meisner, in. In, does that mean you're registered or you're coming? Because like Alex said, spots are going quickly. Rory and I are coming to Montreal, Tatiana, yay! Guys, if you haven't met Rory and Tatiana, this is like a power couple. Unbelievable, beautiful souls that, um, okay, I'm getting a note here from, from our COO that Montreal is at $14.95 right now and $18.95 for some of the last spots. So those of you that take action rapidly will have, will save yourself 400 bucks because that's what happens when you say yes. Um, yeah, Tatiana and Rory, by the way, they're gonna be there. You should show up just to meet these people. They're super badass. They have a very successful operation and business and they're incredibly generous. Um, they're there, you gotta come and meet them. Kyle, yes to Montreal, yes to racing cars, and yes to paintball. Bam, Kyle in the house. We have Matty Aitchison coming, who's gonna be one of our guest speakers. He's gonna be talking about flipping properties. He's got his own podcast. He joined uh, GoBundance slash M1 right at the beginning. His net worth was around 600,000. It's close to 3 million now. I don't know the exact number. And he, um, he's just incredibly passionate and a great teacher. So Rebecca's posted here the event for One Life Fully Lived. Um, if you wanna go, I highly encourage it. Chris, yes I am. And with communicating with power with Mark Yegi, that's right. Saying yes to the 100 off link for Ryan, Mark gearing up for 
Three meetings today, big things, say yes coming. Peace and tribe happiness, you go get it. Marcus Jacoper will be there talking about tax liens and tax deeds. So that's gonna be very cool and we're gonna have some other guests for you that we will reveal to you later. You just have to say yes and just enjoy the surprises. Chris Buna, awesome for all of those of you coming to Montreal. Sign up now and save money, there's the link. See how great our staff is, they're just so awesome. Couple of minutes left before we wrap up, guys. Challenge, get your whole pod to reunite in Montreal. I love it, Steph, great idea. We're working on getting Monique from Sacred Gifts to come to Montreal. That's gonna be so cool, I love it. Where is the line between saying yes and no to things to that take you away from your purpose? Aaron, that is a great question. And that's the one thing I wanted to, um, to address, is a lot of people are like, yeah, but I say yes to too many things. Here's what happens. Get up, do your miracle morning. Do a routine at nighttime. And, um, and, and be focused on what you want. Continually focus on what you want, what you want to create. And as you do that, it's like if I say to you, do you, do you want a cigarette? And you're a non-smoker, you don't go, what brand is it? You go, no, I don't smoke. If, you, if I say to you, do you want to do this? Or do you want to do that? But you, um, you, you know in your heart that it's not what you want, it doesn't serve as part of your mission, then it's easier to say no. So in other words, clarity leads to power. Clarity leads to power. So get clear through your meditation, through your visualizing what you want and watch the yeses be easy and the noes be easy at the right time. It might be no thank you. No, no thank you, I would not like to have a cigarette. No thank you, I would not like to sleep in this morning. No thank you, I would not like to um, not build my business, I wanna take action. All right, so 1495 for Montreal, five more days. Rory and Tati, Tati are the best, I love that. Rory, Rory and Tati, yeah, Britt went over to their house and hung out with them. Um, Bryce, remember, say yes isn't a semantic rule. There are obvious exceptions. Want to go to prison? No. <laughs> Bryce. Bryce, you should come to Montreal and you should be speaking too. Are you coming to Montreal, brother? You gotta get, we gotta get your voice out there. We have big things planned for Philly. Thanks for helping Rock. Yeah, guys, get to Philly. If you haven't been to a One Life Fully, Fully Lived event, it's an absolute must. There's many people whose lives have been changed by that event are in the M1 because of this event. So, um, what are the exact dates, guys? I think I saw it go by here, scroll by. Somebody help me out here, the exact dates so we can tell people, where is it? The exact dates, Rebecca help me out here, or Mike help me out here, the exact dates. Um, June 2nd and 3rd, One Life Fully Lived, June 2nd and 3rd. Is that it? I think so. So guys, there's still time for you to plan for that. And maybe Mike, we should have you um, pop on a Rise With Rock with me and talk more about it um, in the coming weeks if you want so people can really understand what's behind that. I met a billionaire, Jeff Hoffman there, ended up spending a day with him because of the power of One Life Fully Lived. So if you have not been, again, it's a few hundred dollars for an entire weekend. You meet a lot of M1ers, Go Abundance people, and amazing speakers, and you get to also have a venue where you can learn to contribute. Many of our M1 people have become speakers and used that platform to launch themselves. So, you know, that's a little rare, more rare now. But um, anyway, I'll get maybe Mike on to, to share uh, on another Rise with Rock. Having fun working with more business owners on their brands, it's all about yes possibility. Okay, is it 5.30 yet? 5.33, okay, I gotta wrap up, got carried away here. Let me just see if there's a couple more cool comments. My wife and I are both in at Montreal. By in, I mean signed up. Bryce, bam, I love it. Aaron, with you, we gotta say yes to us and not spread ourselves too thin for others who aren't serving, says Britt. David Downs is watching. David in the house. Um, the thank you part of no thank you is a bigger helper for those of us people, pleasers out there. 100%, 100%, well said. Sign up here for events, June 2nd and 3rd, thank you. I will find the $100 off link for One Life in 
the main M1 tribe if I don't find it before it's over. Thank you, Rock. Sure, I'll speak. How a risk adverse was makes himself take action. Okay, great. Um, Bryce, let's get you hooked up with Alexandra to work out some details for um, you know a small little um, talk that you can do. Includes party Saturday night where we will all come in as will be in 2023 future party. I love it. One life is absolutely amazing. So much value and great cost. One life, one life, one life. Thank you, Rock. Bryce, you're awesome. I love you guys. Amazing. Hope you enjoyed this Rise with Rock. Say yes to yourself. Say yes to your kids. Keep in flow. Be in harmony. Say yes to the universe. Allow that intuitive voice of yours to welcome in all of your successes. And then as a little brackets on parenthesis, say no to the things that don't serve you when your intuition knows that it's not your higher self connecting with your universal purpose. I love you guys. God bless. Grab life big.